thank you for joining in and watching this and uh, make sure you watch this in, in full. Uh, have a new announcement. Uh, sometimes you just run across people that you feel should be part of your event and uh, we found one and I'd like to introduce you to uh, Jillian Bryant. Uh, the great thing is she's um, from Fulton. So uh, just wanted to make this announcement and introduce her to you so you can hear this uh, small interview as well as uh, a few clips of some music. So please welcome Jillian Bryant. We pass in the hall on a witch sip rooms. The only time we ever talk is when the mother bills are due. We go to church, we go to work, we fake the perfect life. So everybody, this is Jillian. So uh, she's our new friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so is it really crazy? You know, everything's going TikTok and Instagram. Everything's yeah. social media and, and things crazy. are posted. And I saw a video of her singing and I was like, man, she's really good. And uh, then I looked and saw, and saw she was from Fulton, which is you could throw a rock from here to there and, and hit yeah. Fulton. So I contacted her and... Uh, listened to music and told her about Freedom Jam. And, you know, Freedom Jam's not only there to, you know, provide the assistance for the veterans, which obviously that's the ultimate goal, but we also want to be able to help promote um, these young artists who are, are trying to do something with their lives and, and all of them are giving back to our organization. So it's kind of a, a, a symbiotic relationship. So, you know, we help you guys be seen. And, you know, the more that the people say, oh, Jillian was at Operation Triage, they'll be like, what the heck's Operation Triage? You'll be able to tell people, you know, and that's how the organization gets its its message out, too. So um, anyway, we're going to have Jillian come on at two o'clock at, um, at Freedom Jam on August 29th. So, yeah, we got you in there. So and and. And, you know, it's it's really awesome that, that you're, I mean, I didn't have to ask you two or three times. It was pretty much okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do I do? I mean, you offered and I was all for it. Well, I do. So I guess just tell a little, people a little bit just about you. When did you start music? You know, well, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I started singing when I was around two years old and my family was like super into music. All my like great uncles had a band and everything. And so I was just surrounded by it from a young age. And I took vocal lessons for a really long time. And then I taught myself guitar and started writing music and performing a little bit. And now I'm getting kind of serious about it. And this is where it's taken me so far. So what, what are your aspirations? What do you want to do with music? Um, with music, well, I'm planning to uh, go to college and then hopefully move to Nashville and make something of myself. So, and that's that. I think that's what's cool about Freedom Jam too. Is there's, we got a little bit of everything. So, uh, like Molly Lovett, she went to college. She went to her year and decided she was gonna go and pursue music. So she's actually moving to Nashville June first. So, but you know, there's a lot of artists who are at. Um, who, you know, could maybe explain the ropes or, you know, or even if you oh, decide sure. to go to Nashville, you know, it's kind of like the big brother, big sister type thing, yeah. where, you know, their connections and stuff like that. And, you know, they can give you good advice. Um, we were actually talking about that with Walker County the other day, because they were like, once you get here, everyone will be in your ear. Some, some will be good advice. Some might be not so good advice. <laughs> so, you know, and, and uh, so they've, 
I think I think the great thing is is all these artists who are part of Freedom Jam are are very open to helping each other and but that's just the kind of people that we have performing that's great. There, performing there. So who's your who's one of your favorite artists or your favorite song or um favorite artist right now would have to be uh Co Wetzel for sure. Love him and Tyler Childers too. Just I'm super into the red dirt scene. Um yeah, so for tell all your friends, family, whoever, uh, August 29th, I know that you're just getting started, but it's it's yeah. it's going to be a really cool event. Um, I think we're already we're already over 600 tickets already. Uh, awesome. <laughs> and the event's not until August 29th, so we're, we hope to be sold out come the end of June. That's that's the agenda. So great. Anyway, but. Uh, if uh, if anybody out there wants tickets or learn more, you can ask me. You can ask Jillian because she'll figure it out. How yeah. to, how to get you some tickets or something. She's she's about three hours, four hours into this, so um, yeah, she'll be able to hook you up. But we're happy to have you. Uh, keep singing away. She's been sending some videos. We'll, we'll post those on uh, on the Freedom Jam page so you guys can hear her sing a little bit and uh, let's yeah. give her some props. And you'll see her on some podcasts with us uh some zoom podcasts hopefully uh as well as uh we do some freedom jam live stuff so we'll bring her on and you guys can jam with her get to know her and get her autograph when she comes to freedom jam <laughs> all right well thank you for joining and uh we'll get your yeah. story out thank you for having me all right we'll talk to you later i'll talk to you bye bye your day starts with coffee